Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Robbinsdale and welcome to Debbie's home. What I'm going to show you is a 1950s vintage Rambler reinvented. What I also want you to pay attention to is how we've taken this transformation carefully keeping some of the existing and blending it with new. It's an example of not tearing everything out and starting over. Let me introduce to you Twin Lake here in Robbinsdale. We have a tremendous lake view out the back of this home. And the before plan showed a full wall right here obstructing that view. We had a pantry over here. We had a fridge over here. We had an oven and a microwave and another pantry. This wall was completely closed off. This view now makes this the home that Debbie was looking for. The kitchen that we rearranged, starting with the opening from the entryway, which we made a little bit larger, allows the natural light to move front to back, side to side of home. I'm gonna to point to one feature that you do not see in 1950s Ramblers. That is a mudroom function. We even had conversations, and we do this quite often, we sometimes bump in into the garage and steal a little bit of space. That was not possible in this plan. However, our design team and Ali came up with a brilliant idea of creating the mudroom functionality right there with the garage entrance. So we have a little bit of a bench. Going back to our aging in place strategies that we implement whenever we can, this is what a cabinet refront refrigerator looks like. This is part of the Thermador suite together with the range over here, generous pantry. And I'm gonna take you around this island. Prior to this island being here, Debbie had a small cooktop in the center of the island with pretty much no drops on either side of the cooktop. Not a very functional way to try to cook. This cabinetry bank also was extended because we moved the entire doorway over this way. Keep in mind, this wall housed floor to ceiling cabinetry. We had old soffits around the entire perimeter of the kitchen. So we now have much more cabinetry space as a result of the moves we created. This cabinetry bank here shows Quest cabinetry versatility, where we have a shallow base cabinet with a countertop area serving the living room. I'm gonna take you around here so you'll see some of the original features, a massive masonry wood-burning fireplace that has been here since the house was built in 1958. I'm gonna show you an example of how we update a fireplace area without tearing out the entire fireplace. You see our fireplace shroud and the finish with the glass that has been completely updated and we've kept the original brick and stone ledge. This fireplace along with the existing built-in bookcases by the stairway is a nod to this original mid-century modern style home our beam work in the ceiling we wanted to maintain and keep and all of this tells the story of a 1950s rambler again the goal with this project was not to tear everything out and start over but rather incorporate new to play nicely with the old so we kept original woodwork the stain and the casing and base you see is the original ranch casing. I'm gonna walk you through here because these homes, as we see them, we focus on two main areas, the kitchens and the common areas and the bathrooms. I'm gonna walk you into Debbie's gorgeous new bathroom with granite countertops, a slightly raised vanity heights. And as you see ambiance lighting, that's in the cabinet retokic. The tub was a very important feature for Deb 
So we had to keep that. A lot of times we removed the tub and put in a custom shower. In this case, we kept a tub function with a completely new and redone shower. We have a built-in recessed niche that houses all the product and Ali has carefully, together with Debbie, measured the size of her hair product and all the things that belong in a well-appointed bathroom so that it absolutely fits and it's designed exactly for Debbie's needs. We get a lot of requests for heated floors and in Debbie's bathroom we also have a heated floor on a timer so we can have a heated floor for Debbie when she gets up early in the morning and ready to go. The other thing is this wainscot tile has a texture. You see a little bit of depth to it. Incredibly beautiful wall tile. What you see is a little bit of a framed feature of the mirror where you see a glass tile that creates a frame around this mirror. And believe it or not, these light fixtures are original to the home. So again, the ability that we have to complement the old with the new and make everything play nicely is one of the, the best skills that our design team has. Without tearing everything out, we complement and we build upon what is here. The entryway is another area where Debbie decided that she wanted to splurge a little bit. This incredible porcelain tile she found at Kate Lowe together with Ali. It almost looks like a Mediterranean sea with stone. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sometimes our homeowners, they find one or two things that they absolutely want to incorporate in the project. That floor tile was one of them. Couple details on how we spend an enormous amount of time finding out just the details that matter. You may not pick up on this, but the height of your kitchen cabinet, read the base cabinets, and also the vanity in the bathroom, they are set at a 38 inch height. This was a special request from Debbie and it makes the ease of use and cooking and prepping that much better for her. Debbie is a tall lady and we had to accommodate base cabinetry to be at a height where it really worked for her. This window we replaced with a massive picture window in the middle and two flanking casement windows. Rather than having four individual panes of glass, we had one large single picture window to frame the twin lake that sits out there. This fireplace is actually a two-sided fireplace that serves the living room as well as the formal dining room. This is a very generous dining room area. As you can see, lights, windows to the lake. This space plan for this dining room allows for a long table seating up to 16 to 18 people and you still have the visual of seeing the kitchen, you have the visual of seeing the lake in the back, and it, we got a nice connection to the rest of the home. Like in many ramblers of this vintage, we did not have overhead lighting. So we used to have lamps around the perimeter. So what we did in Debbie's home is we took the lighting plant to a completely different level and added cans, LED, in the kitchen, in the living room, and in the front entry. As you see here, we have ceiling fans in every room of the house. In addition to the ceiling fans, you see the LED lights that bring in a lot of a lot of light in areas where we did not have any lighting before. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of this 1950s Rambler, Debbie's home. This is an example that if you're living in a 1950s, 60s Rambler, 
and you want to do something, but you don't want to take it through a full whole home renovation. This is a great example of how we can match old with new and improve upon the fundamental changes that we want to do in this vintage. Sight lines, natural light, kitchens, common areas, and bathrooms. New Spaces and our team, we're here if you want to talk about creating your forever home just like Debbie did.